Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing a custom makeover of the movies Batman v Superman, Batman, uh, Batfleck, Grapple Gun and in this video I'm going to be using, uh, I'm going to be spraying it with primer and be giving it a nice little paint job and uh, it's going to be quick and easy, something you can do at home and don't cost you very much, this uh, Batman Grapple Gun cost me £12 off eBay so let's give it a nice little paint job and see how it comes out. So I've skipped ahead a bit here. I've also I've already given it a spray with the primer, and I've also gone over it with some chrome paint, uh, chrome spray paint. And now I'm using a brown uh, acrylic paint to paint the handle. And once we've done that, we'll move on to the rest of the gun. So enjoy. So chrome paint is a pain in the ass to paint onto. Uh, you, what you want to do is give it a, a first coat, let it dry, and then after that, give it a second and a third coat, just so that you're happy with the colour. So here I've used some black paint I've painted in the rivets and the uh, oval rectangles on the handgun and now I'm going to use, be using some black shoe polish and as I did with my Batman v Superman figure just rub it all over the chrome part of the gun getting into all the nooks and crannies uh, just to make sure you get that worn uh, detail into the gun. So here, before I start recording, I used uh, some chrome spray paint, and as you can see, the puddle there. I've spread a little puddle into the, onto the paper. If you've got chrome paint, you can use that, but I didn't. So uh, a good little trick is if you've got a little pot, or like I say, I've spread it in, onto the paper. It puddles up. Give it a little mix up, and you can use that. And what I'm doing here is I'm using reference photos, and. Uh, I'm using the reference photos to pick out the points where parts of the gun are just chrome without the uh, black worn appearance and on that is the top like uh, barrel and underneath uh, is also chrome uh, what you'll see and you can see that throughout the video.
so here after I've used the chrome paint I'm just painting on with uh, shoe polish into the little gaps just to give it that shadow appearance I didn't want to use black paint uh, because that would be too dark but uh, shoe polish just works brilliant into the little uh, gaps of the bottom of the gun Again here I'm just using the shoe polish, dipping it into the white paper and using the paintbrush just to using the paintbrush dipping it into the shoe polish to add shadow effects onto the bottom of the gun. You know it's all about uh, just take your time, there's no real order to do it and uh, when you feel like you've got enough shadow in and you're basically just trying to get the worn, uh, worn look for the gun. Hi guys, so yes, first off, I am sporting the beard for November. I am growing it out and it is coming along nicely. And you should probably be able to notice that there is a gap missing there. And that is for my upcoming uh, figure makeover. Still not quite ready. I know I teased it in the last uh, video and I still want to refine a little bit, but since doing uh, that, uh, that figure makeover as <laughs> it's uh, got my juices flowing for my creativity and the work I'm gonna try and make this 18 figure Batman um, into a lot of different things I'm gonna try and modify this for different versions of Batman um, I don't want to really give too much away uh, but uh, obviously you've seen a lot of these as I mentioned in my last video a lot of the Batman uh, 18 inch or the 19 inches uh, figure makeovers um, you've seen him uh, so I'm gonna try to uh, like I said in the last video I'm gonna try to take one step further I'm gonna try to do different things with him different without putting away or putting put away without giving it away different eras different styles and I just want to show you how you can modify your figures and I'm, it's really hard about giving away but I've got one behind the camera here that's a 12 inch figure as well that um, a 12 inch Batman figure that I've modified as well to in different ways and it's all obviously Batman orientated but it's just to show you how you how if you just use a little bit of creativity how you can make your figures look a lot better because as cosplay Chris mentioned this figure itself when it comes basic is very it's it's like 100% it's better than probably better than the hot toys figure in likeness with the the, the body and the legs and everything and the facial features they've just for some reason non they've gone all out for the likeness of the figure but not with the paintwork and uh, the details, the, you know, the incret, inc can't even say the word, the incret, no, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get that word out, but they, they've not got it down with the details when it comes to, and is obviously is makeover with shoe polish, which is absolutely fantastic, uh, <laughs> I use it for all my name, but uh, yeah, uh, they've, for some reason they got the likeness, absolutely fantastic, and then just stopped there for some reason, so um, all I'm going to say is, Keywords Joker, 
uh, medieval and uh, possibly my own version of post-apocalyptic. That's what I'm going to try to do with these figures. Um, <laughs> hopefully I'm not give, giving too much away. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is what I'm going to try to do with these. I have got, uh, it's, it's almost done. I've got the 12 inch, I've got the 18 inch on either side of the, of the camera, almost done. Don't want to give it too much away, but down to uh, the, obviously the uh, thumbnail for this video. Again, sometimes when I get into a project, I lose myself in the project and I sit here with my paintbrush. And I'm go I've got my paintbrush and I forget that the, uh, the video the camera's going. So this is it. Um, before, obviously, before this, you saw a few steps, but I just wanted to take you through it um, because I wanted to take you through it because obviously some of the steps I did miss. So in the steps before, it was a darker brown that I used for the hand grip. And I thought it was too bright, uh, too dark, so I've gone over it again with a lighter brown. You might not be able to see it with this light, but yeah, I've gone over it with a lighter brown uh, paint. Well, I'll start from scratch. Obviously, uh, it was I, I primed it first, then went over it with chrome spray paint, and then, um, as you saw, the darker brown. I've gone over it with a lighter brown, um, just with the details black in there and obviously on the two rivets and, and nuts and then I used as you saw shoe polish just went over it with shoe polish and then I've gone back over it since then with black paint as you can see there just to darken up that and then I don't have uh, actual chrome paint you know actual paint itself so what a uh, good trick to do is back Get a little pot and if you've not got paint itself you know chrome paint get your chrome spray paint and just spray it obviously wear a mask but spray it as a, a, a close into the pot and it will pool up and then you can just dip your paintbrush into it and then that is what i did there because in the reference photos it is chrome now without any wear and tear there and i've used a a thin brush to colour in the black lines there with the black paint and that's pretty much it it is quick and easy and it's very easy to do this cost £12 off eBay £12 fit of paint bit of TLC when it comes to the details and you've got yourself a very good looking uh, Batman v Superman or bat flick um, grapple gun and I'm thinking for this bit here I think I'm thinking obviously I know that that's your uh, that's supposed to be where the uh, spare grapples go in but I'm thinking for the belt if I can try and explain like I want to put on the belt a hook that these two grips there could grip into so that when you put it on your belt it just sits nicely on the belt so I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use these as a, a slight as, as a hook so yeah quick easy video bit of paint and there is your Batman v Superman Batman grapple gun now I've had a few emails from subscribers asking about this thing in the background here. Yes, that is my uh, mech armor helmet. <laughs> I've got about three packs on my channel, so please check them out. Uh, <laughs> and I'm, I sometimes get a bit too picky, I don't like how it's going. So I did actually, I think I, I finished it in the last video, but since then, uh, I've gone back to it, I've done a bit of filling. I've done a bit more filling on it and a bit more sanding so there will be an upcoming video for this where I give it another paint job I'm going to give it uh, another spray of primer then a spray of um, chrome and go from there to make it look um, 
as screen accurate as I can. And then this thing has been sat on my shelf for about six months. We all know what that is. You can see there, that is obviously Star Lord's mask. Fits like a glove. Hair looks good. I've just not got around to uh, finishing it off. <laughs> so there will be another video for that. Uh, finishing that off and in, de in detail how I made it. So yeah, a lot of videos coming. Um, I won't give you a sneak peek, <laughs> but uh, I just I just want to get these videos out as, as fast as I can. Um, it's just with work and uh, and life, uh, and you know I've got a wife and she gets in the way, as wives do. Uh, so, but I've got uh, you might notice. About two weeks ago, I put a lot of videos out at once. I had about a video out, maybe one a day, maybe two two in one day, and that's because I had a week off work. I've got another week off work coming up. This next week, I've got off. Um, I've got a few chores to do. Obviously, I've, like I say, I've got a wife, but uh, when I get a week off, I do try to put as many videos out as I can. So please subscribe. We are at three hundred and. 53 I think it is subscribers and um, yeah I want to get to 400 I, I want to get to a thousand now but I have actually got a special um, giveaway if we ever get to a thousand um, one that is very dear to me but it's one of my very first um, cosplay builds and it's very sentimental to me if we get to a thousand you know I feel that that's the point when uh, I want to uh, give it as a giveaway but uh, you know I'm very grateful for the four, four well 353 subscribers that I've got I, I this is a hobby for me as you can see there you know the, the Batman belt I do this in my spare time I, I work eight eight hours a day as, as anyone does you know I, I, I you know I work I come home I spend time with a wife and this is just a hobby for me and I, I, I appreciate all the comments, all the likes and subscribes, uh, subscribers that I get, so I say what I, I, you know, I do it for you, I do it for me, this is a hobby, uh, if I scan to the right there, you know, I've got all my Evil Dead um, builds there. I have got two trailers out, two teaser trailers for uh, Evil Dead, I am working on an actual uh, fan film as well, that is coming out soon. Um, but like I say, it's just all time. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to say. Please subscribe, uh, please like, and there are more videos coming. And uh, I shall see you for the next one. So, cheers! <laughs>